so there is a method of getting your LGG stylo that is rooted on 5.0.2 lollipop. There is a fix to get it to 5.1.1. And um, I was pretty curious about it for a while because this was actually how um, the method that was used was if you up if you had updated the 5.1.1 lollipop and then you tried to use the root method that was for 5.0.2 and it soft bricked your phone. Uh, the method that was used to unbrick um, the G style that's on 5.1.1 is the same method that's going to get you to 5.1.1. I know it's a lot of numbers being tossed out. But um, yes, it totally works. I just did it myself. I, um, I was able to capture because me not thinking with my brain. I should have had a camera rolling so I could have just, you know, filmed it if it was a win or, or a fail, you know. Uh, but I didn't think about it, and so when I actually did the certain steps that got me to where I needed to be, and then I was like, camera. So I ran and got my other, uh, got my LG Vault 2, which I'm filming from. I grabbed that, started recording, but it was already um, doing the update.zip, and it actually passed through and started patching uh, all the files that was needed and discarding all unnecessary files. So it did take away roots. It, it uh, took away all the applications that was um, pushed over to my second partition on my SD card. And it pretty much reloaded some of the bloatware. So, yeah, I have a fully stocked 5.1.1 Lollipop LG G Stylo. Uh, I couldn't be more happier to get it up to there at that point. I'm actually not going to root it yet because I don't know if there's a stage fright zip fix for it. And if there is, I want to apply that first before actually um, rooting it on 5.1.1. So there will be a root video for 5.1.1. Um, I'll have the links in the description on how I was able to get it from 5.0.2 from rooted to 5.1.1. Um, you guys gotta follow it to a T. Now in the forum post, the guy who actually did it, uh, he had an extra step where he said that he tried to force push uh, 5.0.2 um, image file and that step's not needed you don't have to try and force push um, 5.0.2 lollipop image um, well system image you don't need to push that one in because you're already on it I can confirm that it's not needed just start off with trying to force push 5.1.1 system image of course that's going to soft brick your device and don't freak out uh, but that is necessary. You need that there. You need that soft brick to happen. I guess it's kind of like a gateway, if I can explain it in layman's term. It's like a gateway that opens it. So once you're soft bricked, um, it's going to tell you on the LG logo screen, it's going to um, tell you that it's like authenticated fail of 108 or something like that. And once you see that, just pull the battery out of your phone, put it back in, um, hit the power button and volume down at the same time to boot you into recovery. And that's where you're going to select... Um, install uh, update.zip from SD card and once you do that it will go through so that is actually the trick behind all of it um, also if you want to know how to put your phone in download mode basically you power off your device have it completely turned off do not turn it on just hold the volume up button and plug in the USB cable and that will launch download mode um, I'm so sorry that I couldn't get like a full-blown to the T tutorial how to do this. I wish I wish I did it. I wish I had my camera on hand. Um, but I was just trying to fix the phone. I wasn't even thinking about actually making a video of it. And then it worked and I'm like, crap, there's people out there that was in the same boat as me that could use this help. So I don't have a great um, video image for you guys. But anyways, um, yeah, so links in the description. Follow them completely. Um, and I will explain the best that I can. So without further ado, let's get into it. So once you have everything pretty much downloaded, installed, uh, here as you guys can see is a command prompt. Um, these are the commands that I typed in. And um, like I said, it's just pretty clear cut and dry. This is how you're going to force push 5.1.1 system.img. And this is what's going to cause your G Stylo to soft brick. Um, like I said, uh, just make sure you follow everything to a T. Make sure that the uh, COM port is correct. And uh, when you get to this part, this is fairly simple. You can copy paste it from the website. 
Let's make sure the COM port is the correct uh, number. Um, and so once you have it soft bricked, you're basically going to go into recovery. Uh, you should have your update zip in your external SD card. And um, you're just going to go into your stock recovery, go down to where it says apply update.zip from SD card. Select that. And this is what you'll end up with. So as you guys can see right here, um, it's it's pushing it through and it finished. So uh, yeah, this is uh, where you know you got success. Uh, but we're just gonna double check and make sure. Um, I'll tell you guys right now, I was completely nervous doing this. I was like, oh my gosh, I soft brick my device. What if I can't recover out of it? I have to send this off to LG. Um, but don't worry, this does work and uh, you will get to 5.1.1 lollipop so uh, right now we're just gonna go ahead and let it boot up and then I will show you guys that it is now in fact on 5.1.1 lollipop okay so while I show you guys it is on 5.1.1 let me just end this video by saying make sure you guys follow everything to a T uh, make sure you download the system.img for 5.1.1. Have that placed on your external SD card. Make sure the update zip is downloaded and saved on your external SD card. You don't need the 5.0.2 system.img file. You can bypass that. Uh, I pretty much that's what I did, so and it worked for me. And yeah, and make sure you have the LG root uh, zip. Um, all the files in that zip file unpacked to your desktop. You will need a PC for this. Uh, you cannot do it without a PC at all whatsoever. So just make sure you follow the forums exactly to a T.